All right, just ordered this uh, broken CDJ2000 Nexus 2 on uh, eBay a couple days ago. Just showed up and uh, I'm gonna open it up and see if I can figure out what's wrong with it and maybe save a thousand bucks because I got a pretty good price on it. So if it's something simple and I just have to reconnect a power cable or a data cable, then a uh, quick way to save a thousand bucks. If not, I'm sure I can probably figure out what's wrong with it. So let's open it up, take a look. It's 2016, we shouldn't still be using foam peanuts. Use some like air pocket or some shit. These buttons on the right, the jog mode, disc eject. Actually, I don't think they said disc eject. I'm pretty sure that works just fine. But none of these buttons were working. So let's uh, confirm that. All right, moment of truth, let's power it on. So yeah, none of these are coming on. And it's interesting because, uh, and it's updated to the latest firmware even, that's pretty cool. Um, so first step I'm gonna do, I'm gonna disassemble this and I'm gonna see, I have a feeling the construction of the circuit board for the panel B circuit, or the panel B board is different on the Nexus 2 than it is on the regular Nexus. Cause um, let me show you the uh, the regular Nexus panel two or panel B. So this right here is uh, what the panel B on the Nexus looks like. So obviously this is flipped over, right? So this is right side up just to compare them. So this is where the tempo slider is and uh, the screen's up here and the Q and play button are down here. So uh, as you can see on the Nexus, this panel B assembly is all one big board. But I'm thinking, and we're gonna see here in a minute when we open this up, I think they may have changed the construction. I think there may be a, a, a ribbon cable that jumps between um, the main board and this board with the sync and master buttons on it. So let's take a look. I was right, they did change the construction. Um, there are ribbon cables, but I found the actual issue since this is the side with the hot cues. This is the new hot cue board. But there is actually a massive crack running through this circuit board. So I'm going to take this board out and see if it's possible to do a little bit of repair on it. Probably not, but I'll probably just end up buying a replacement. But uh, it doesn't hurt to take it out and take a look. Here I have the whole board and assembly. I don't like removing these ribbon cables um, because they use a a uh, very brittle style of connector, so I don't like fucking with it. I just want to take the whole assembly out. And I'm probably just going to end up um, epoxying the board together and then running um, running bridges across the cracks. So this is definitely a fixable thing. I don't think I'll have to buy any parts. I'm just going to check and see how much the panel B assembly is. I'm assuming it's probably... Um, in the $350 range. So even if I do end up having to buy a whole new panel, I'm still saving 400 bucks. So I think overall this was a, a good purchase, but I'm gonna run to the store, get the supplies I need to mix the epoxy for this and um, you know get some wire to run bridges across here. So if you look at the PCB, um, you can see where bridges are gonna have to be run. It shouldn't be that much work actually, maybe about an hour, hour or two tops. Not bad to save 800 bucks if I don't have to buy the part. When I tested this, the tempo slider was working correctly. And it looked like there was a crack going all the way through all of the traces. But if you look on the other side of the board, it's through hole on the other side. And these guys that run right across the crack are actually the bridges for the, uh, the tempo PCB. So this, uh, the tempo PCB goes in uh, to panel B here. And then if you follow the traces, it goes to this side of the bridge and then it hops over here and just totally bypasses the crack. So that's kind of what we're gonna do with the other uh, traces just on this side of the board. And we're not going through the board, we're just staying on this side and bridging the gap. I went ahead and ran wires to all the traces that were broken by the fractured board here. Um, took me, you know, about 45 minutes or an hour to get these all run. And uh, now is the moment of truth. I'm going to stick it in the deck and um, power it on and hopefully I don't blow anything up. 
uh, my heart's beating really fast. So we're gonna close this up and put the power in and flip the switch and hopefully all goes well. No more waiting. <gasps> it works. Master tempo. Sync button's not on. So I got one more to check and vinyl mode's not working. Well, it's working, but the button's not lighting up. All right, we have more work to do. And while I had the Nexus 2s open, I wanted to show you the difference between, uh, this is the Nexus 2, this is the main assembly um, on the new boards, and this is what the main assembly looks like on the old ones. This is with the uh, ethernet ports that are famous for uh, breaking and having to replace them. You can see I've actually had to do a little bit of creative soldering to get that one working again. And this is a much larger main assembly. Um, so things have changed significantly between the Nexus and, or yeah, the Nexus and the Nexus 2, much more so than between the 2000 and the 2000 Nexus. So I went through and cleaned up a few of the lines that I ran, and um, it looks like I'm gonna have to order some LEDs to replace the CDJ vinyl mode button. It's like, has the, the green and the blue indicators of whether you're in final mode or um, CDJ mode. You can see them here on the uh, other CDJ. So the LEDs for these ones on the deck that I am trying to fix, that's the only thing I can't get right now. So I think uh, the LEDs just need to be replaced and unfortunately I have a gig with these this weekend. So I'm just going to assemble this, test it, make sure everything's fully functional and then um, yeah, we're going to have to wait until I order some LEDs from DigiKey and then we'll replace them and then it'll be fully functional. So all the buttons work, but there's just those two LEDs that don't light up, which is kind of annoying. And there we have it. So we're connected, everything looks good. Just play a little bit here, make sure. Master button's working just fine. But like I said, the LED indicator on the jog mode is not lighting up. So I'm gonna order some replacement LEDs for those because I think those LEDs got blown when I tested them, they weren't functioning. Um, and I just didn't have any in stock. So, but you know, as you can see, it's actually working. It's toggling between uh, vinyl and CDJ mode just fine. And all the buttons are working as well. The tempo range button works too. And of course the master tempo. So with just about uh, two hours of my time and you know a soldering iron and some flux, um, saved about a thousand bucks on the CDJ, and now I have three Nexus twos. Maybe I should add a fourth. My table does look kind of unbalanced with just three, 